first comes the innovation and then comes the regulation and this is exactly what cryptocurrency industry is going through one of the world's largest cryptocurrency exchanges is under attack by the regulators or we can say that like their honeymoon period of binance is almost over and now they are about to be regulated by different financial institute or by the different jurisdiction where they serve and that means a great deal for a user like you and me hi everyone i am harsh agarwal from coin sutra and in this video you learn about new binance account verification and withdrawal limits And if you are an existing Binance user, this is very important for you. Or if you are planning to start open an account on Binance, this is again going to be very useful for you. So today morning, Binance announced that they are limiting the daily withdrawal limit on their Twitter. And from 2 BTC a day, now the new withdrawal limit is 0.06 BTC for the basic account verification. And that is a significant drop. Though the good news is if you are an existing user, you still have few days, uh, almost one week to withdraw your Bitcoin or cryptocurrency from the exchange with the higher limit. But after that, if you have not done the KYC or you are just basic verified, now basic verification means you have just added your name, email address or phone number, but you have not provided any document in that case your daily withdrawal limit would be 0.06 BTC, which is very much limited. Now, should you be doing the verification? And in my opinion, yes, because ultimately you can't use a financial instrument without verification. Of course, there are decentralized exchanges where you don't need to do KYC, which is, which is something different, which we'll talk about in some other video. But for the centralized exchanges like Binance or FTX, you need to do verification to be able to trade, to be able to withdraw your fund anytime. And I believe in the days to come, this, this rules will become more strict. And maybe this daily with free no KYC limit of 0.06 BTC will change to zero BTC in the future. And that's how I foresee that ex exchanges around the world would adapt with the new regulation. And this is done to counter the Ill illicit use of funds, which has been reported by few news publications. And before we move ahead, let me show you a few interesting stuff. So very first thing, once you are on your Binance account, you can check your verification status by clicking on your profile icon and clicking on identification. Here you would see something like this, where you will be seeing your basic, intermediate or advanced pro. Th these are the three level as of now. So if you have done basic verification, it will be written as verified, which will give you a crypto withdrawal limit of two BTC, which I believe is not accurate. I think it's 0.5 BTC for now, which will change to 0.06 BTC per day which is quite low by the way. If you want to increase your limit, you need to verify, get the verification done for your intermediate where you need to provide your government ID, facial verification and the review time for this application takes about 10 days. With that, your fiat deposit and withdrawal limit would increase to 15,000 daily, $15,000 and you can uh, withdraw up to 100 Bitcoin daily, which is quite an astonishing limit and if you have 100 btc congratulations and if you like you can always go for advanced pro verification which will have higher fiat limit like you can withdraw uh, you can deposit twenty thousand dollar daily and withdraw up to two hundred thousand dollar monthly so the question is should you be verifying your account and the answer is yes if you can always open a new account if you don't want to you know link your old account with verification or if you have done the wrong verification using your basic account because according to them when you verify your basic verification whatever information that you put in has to be accurate as your document if that is not the case your account verification would not be possible and if you have made that mistake the solution is to open a new account withdraw all the funds from the old account and probably close the old account and start from beginning with like 
with everything in as proper as possible. So that's number one. Now I also want to take this opportunity to cover some of the important news around Binance and as a Binance existing user or as a possible new user you should know that that uh, Binance is launching a lot of new updates and there are a lot of regulatory updates happening throughout the globe which is putting pressure on Binance. Now one of the complaints which I have with Binance is that Binance has been operating without any formal headquarter and this is a big red flag for any crypto exchange. The exchange has long touted its decentralized operation and has not listed any headquarter. And while they're doing that, they are all already using the uh, legacy financial system, like onboarding with the fate and withdrawing fate without any headquarter, which does not make any sense. And I believe that is the reason that UK uh, regulators have warned people against using Binance and Binance have suspended withdrawals in pound sterling for UK users. So if you are from UK or Europe, you would not be able to withdraw off your fiat currency like GBP and others to your bank account and a lot of users are already complaining about it and I believe it is the start of a lot of different regulate, regulatory measures which Binance is about to face and Binance has also delisted Euro, GBP and uh, Australian dollar margin trading pair few days back and that's day before yesterday and again, as I said, Binance does not have a headquarter, which is quite an alarming uh, situation and might put your account at risk. So I'm not saying that uh, Binance will go. Binance is too big right now as an exchange and the probability of them uh, you pulling a uh, you know, exit scam is negligible. But still, uh, there are certain red flags that you should be aware of and you need to put keep only those funds that you're okay to lose on an exchange. Always remember not your key, not your coin. What that means is if you're not using putting your cryptocurrencies on your own wallet like Ledger, uh, Metamask or any mobile wallet, then you don't really own your cryptocurrency. So if you have not done that, you should be definitely doing that. And it's a good idea that you keep only those funds on, on an exchange like Binance or any other which you, which uh, you need urgently otherwise keep them on your regular mobile wallet or hardware wallet which is the best way to stay safe in this uncertain regulatory uh, environment and let's see what else we have so i'll leave leave the link of all the all these links in the description so you can read more about what's happening around binance uh, there are a few interesting things which i've discovered today one is that binance is launching tax reporting tool API and this has been a big issue for a lot of users who wanted to calculate their profit and gain uh, using Binance API and earlier Binance API has a limit for three week, three months or something and this new one will will be able to pull record of more than one financial year to file taxes which is going to be amazing and I believe they are going to partner with a lot of text tools to help us calculate our taxes which is going to be very helpful now now one good thing which i'm seeing is that binance is taking all the right measures to ensure that they float in this uh you know in this situation and things will get should get better with time but as a user uh it's our fund at stake so we should be aware of what's happening and what action we should be taking at the same time you may want to pay attention to some of the binance alternatives which is out there. I'll leave the link of some of the uh, Binance alternative in the description. You can check it out. And yeah, pretty much that's it for today, guys. If you have any question, if you have any suggestion, or if you have uh, any work around with the Binance withdrawal limit, you can let us know in the comment section below. I would look forward to hear your ideas, suggestion, feedback in the comment section below. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye. This is Harsh.